Hello everyone, it's George and welcome back to Call of Dragons. As a dedicated free-to-play player who played this game for more than 400 days, I'm excited to share some insider tips and tricks with you. Stick around and let's dive in. As you can see, we are trying to defend our tower and this video will be about defending the tower whenever you have a low amount of members online, whenever you have fought for whole day and you are just trying your best in order to fulfill your uh, like mission because in our case we are just trying our best to defend the tower because in our side we have our alliance members who will get burned if we are not going to defend them right so we are actually doing very good thing because we we don't want our alliance members to get burned and uh, then they will be really really sad at the end of the day whenever they gonna log into the game and they will see that their home is getting burned right this cavalry player is actually trying his best to just like attack it from our back but yeah like we saw it and we are just going to destroy him right unfortunately my syndrome and fragar are getting stuck um it's really hard for them to move away which means they are going to die for sure but at least I will move away my other legions and we will try to shoot the enemy cavalry players from the distance, right? Of course, my Syndrome and Fragar are going to have the low amount of merits in this fight, but who cares, right? Right now, our main goal is to just try to defend as much as possible, simply because we have to buy some time. Maybe our FK alliance members will come back and they will try to teleport away, right? unfortunately we don't have high amount of alliance members together in our side that's why the fight is pretty one-sided but yeah as always i will try my best to be as useful as possible uh, because if like i'm i'm simply not a tier 5 player i'm a tier 4 player and uh, my main goal and my main idea about the whole fighting is to just be as supportive as possible and just try to be there because you never know how impactful you are going to be whenever you are helping your alliance members in regards of the future seasons i think we are having like one of the best uh, new season in like upcoming season we are having amazing changes which i have covered in the latest video which i made uh, for call of dragons and i think the next season will be pretty epic uh, the mystery skill which is the theme of the new season is pretty interesting in my opinion i think there will be a lot of fun a lot of diversity and a lot of new changes right like imagine having uh, elixir capacity limit increased like host skill for your kinara which will make the kinara even more stronger or like in general it will be pretty interesting what kind of ideas we are going to have now whenever we are going to start building the new hero right it will be like warpets building but in our case it will be like um legendary heroes so like it will be like kind of ability draft which is very interesting um i have actually not played uh, other kingdom builder games in a way that you can you could change the skills of the legendary heroes and then they would be powerful right it gives a lot of interesting stuff uh, to call of dragons a lot of versatility and a lot of ideas and generally new ideas it's all about me because i always try to think about new and strange kind of hero pairs which are actually working it might not be the best one but at least workable right and that's already enough because like generally in call of dragons or in like any other kingdom builder games there is a meta legendary hero pairs and everybody is trying to use them in our case it's a magrot and zaida and if you don't have magrot and zaida you are pretty weak right but with the mastery skill addition to the game i think this kind of meta heroes will be changed and there will be a lot more fun right because like day by day season by season we are getting more and more legendary heroes in our case and sometimes people are actually forgetting that we had a pretty good legendary heroes in the past and you can actually work around them and you can build a pretty solid uh, hero pair like especially i like in this 
um, like legendary hero indies because like overall heroes like indies thea uh, even hosk for pay to win players are really interesting because you can use them in many different aspects of the game with many different hero pairs uh, such as like like for example with indies you can use any infantry hero like it will be simply make it stronger and make it more tankier you can actually use indies with like inara uh, which will make inara's legion stronger and inara in general is dealing high, high amount of counter attack damage which means like uh, longer you will stay on the battlefield more damage you are going to deal unfortunately because of the rattle spear i had to take some damage because whenever you are using rattle spear like active skill your legion should stood still because like it's impossible for you to move uh, that's the thing about the rattle spear which i don't like mostly but like still let's not forget that rattle spear is amazing artifact for Nico and Kinara. This is the merits which I go which we got from the first fight. We don't see any uh, Sindrian merits because Sindrian died pretty fast. And yeah, finally like my Nico and Kinara is having uh, most merits because my only legendary hero which I have currently is only Kinara, right? So that's why I think uh, my Nico and Kinara is the strongest one so far and like my Thea and Craig hero pair have been the surprise because I have been getting more and more uh, merits with them than any other legendary hero pairs which i have had in before right and it's pretty surprising simply because um well you are using epic hero as a main hero and we are already in a quite a late game and um generally whenever you are using epic hero like in the season sub 2 it means that you are not dealing any damage but in uh, craig and thea case i think that's not the case here right i think uh, Craig, like Tia, is giving so much buffs to Craig that you are actually dealing a lot of amount of damage, uh, even to tier 5 players, right? And also, we should not forget that um, Craig is dealing AoE damage, it's a bleed damage, which means like more legions will be around the battlefield, the more damage you are going to deal. And uh, like Tia have been the revolution from the day one. I think he, Tia is giving so much buffs, like so many good things to any heroes that you can can actually use uh, Thea paired up with anything uh, even if you are not like a flying hero because we have seen Thea used with the uh, Lilia and like can, can you imagine how many buffs Thea can give Lilia and Lilia's uh, kit is all around based uh, like just dealing damage and dealing as much damage to AoE which is like dealing damage to nearby legions right like scorch synergy um i hope my alliance members will pop out and we will try to deal some more damage to enemy of course this fight is pretty one-sided but we are like trying our best to buy as much time as possible uh, simply because we have too many our alliance members stuck in this field and if enemy will destroy this tower then they will have a free way of uh like dealing damage to their cities and just burning them right unfortunately my nico and kinara is still using the rattle spear which made them stand still and that's why enemy has a chance to attack me right now and we are getting targeted now, in general i think staying alive on the battlefield for a long period of time is the main idea how you should fight um, i understand it's pretty hard whenever you have low amount of alliance members around you but still i think you have to try to stay alive longer because even if you are dealing a lot of damage to the enemy if you are going to die that doesn't really matter you will get destroyed right uh, unfortunately enemy is trying to destroy me uh, they are targeting my legions all the time but yeah like until my alliance members will be around until my alliance members will will fight i will try my best to fight all the time yeah i guess this guy is just attacking let's just try to deal as much damage because he just made the overstep in my opinion so let's just try and use this moment to attack this guy until their uh, alliance members will help them and we will get targeted by 10 people at the same time right that's generally what happens whenever enemy has a too much tier 5 players uh, right now uh, we are fighting against players who actually won uh, our season so i'm not really surprised that they are winning because they have been super active all this time and they have been like having at least 10 more or 15 or 20 more tier 5 players than any other alliance in this 
uh, in our KVK. Uh, now I think it's a great moment. We are having a free target, so we are dealing some free damage to this guy. And as soon as he will die, I'm sure I will just be moving back because I don't want to get like. Uh, like unnecessary damage to my legions because like i know i'm still having low amounts of health health points to myself i guess this cow player is like maybe t5 because he's not losing too much um hp uh, maybe he's using some artifact there but yeah like he's dealing quite a lot of damage to myself right now um, I guess that will be the main fight for me, like fighting against one cavalry player who just destroyed my three legions. That's the life of tier 4 player and generally that's, that's the thing I don't advise anybody to do uh, simply because your hospital is going to get full and like in general I think fighting against uh, tier 5 players is like really painful because you are having a lot of amount of wounded serially wounded troops and you need uh, like couple of days in order to heal them fully in order in, in general like for the merits they are not yellow but at least we got like more than 10k merits against tier 5 players we need to mention that right uh, we are fighting mainly against tier 5 players right now and uh, i think it's really really hard for a tier 4 player to survive whenever you don't have any backup whenever you don't have anyone who will just try to tank it for you and i guess like dealing low amount of damage to these guys is not a surprise simply because whenever you are tier 4 and whenever you are fighting against tier 5s you need to understand that you won't be the one who will be dealing the most amount of damage and you will be the one who will be going to have a lot of severely wounded troops in your hospital and as you can see it was like more like at least like 400k severely wounded units in my hospital just by trying to fight for like with the two legions but yet again i will try my best to move my legions again simply because i will have enough time to heal up and i will have enough time to heal my troops whenever we will have off time of fighting i guess i caught this tier 4 player because he's losing the hp quite fast let's see if he won't gonna uh, discover that i'm attacking him from the back line and let's see how much damage we can do to this guy i hope we are going to use our artifacts in this case uh, but yeah like i'm trying my best to be as active as possible let's 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 say that i'm fighting against tier 4 players alone which is not a good thing which i never advise but in my case uh, i had i had enough time to heal my troops and i will have enough time to heal my troops in the future right so why not why not uh, fight against like 10 times stronger enemies because maybe in like a couple of days soon our season is going to finish and i won't gonna have enough time to enough opportunities to fight so why not right uh, actually bed and the g all are like bed is like um, family alliance for glr but glr is like number of number one alliance in our kvk which means they are the strongest enemy and which means they are always online doesn't matter matter which time zone they are playing so it's pretty awkward and pretty hard to fight against them in any case right right now i'm trying to be as annoying as possible i'm trying to be one man army which might not be the most wise choice but i wanted to fight i wanted to showcase how hard it is to fight against tier 5 players when do i think i'm i'm actually doing that uh generally i wouldn't advise you guys to do something like this but uh, in my case i have enough elixirs to spend uh there is like soon we're gonna have season ending and we will have enough time to heal our troops right so if i will catch at least one enemy legion and I'm, i will try to uh, deal as much damage as possible i think that will be good enough in our case so right now i mean i'm fighting against like two legions which is good enough we actually de defeated one and let's try to defeat another one unfortunately my shadow blades is not working here i think uh, we finally got at least somebody who doesn't 
have tier 5 units in their legions so let's try to be as useful as possible and i'm pretty interested how much merits i'm going to get from this small fight from this small skirmish um, another great great point why i like to use archers mainly is simply because whenever enemy is attacking me uh, they are getting counter attack damage and uh, like counter attack damage shouldn't be underestimated because that's a lot right more time you're alive it means more counter attack damage enemy will receive so i think that's a that's always a great thing to have um, simply because that's like extra amount of merits which you are going to get whenever you are fighting right like whenever you're getting targeted you are giving some damage to an enemy back right so let's see another merit score against um, tier 5 players um, there is no yellows but i think uh, it, it's good enough from my side uh, like i might might even call this video like me versus tier 5 players alone uh, because yeah like i'm having a lot of uh, fun in our little skirmishes against these people because well, they actually already won. Uh, season is soon getting to finish and I will have enough time from my end to heal my troops and to be useful in the future uh, whenever my alliance members will need my help, right? Um, yeah, I can see that um, from here we have some small skirmish against these guys. So let's try and let's try to deal some damage. Uh, I still did not see a lot of yellows on my merits report, which i actually want to see and that's why i will try my best to get as much yellow numbers on my merits uh, score as possible right uh, as always i'm trying my best to get the best position on the battlefield because i think generally having the best position like best formation and how to stand and where to stand is one of the most important things in the fighting for call of dragons right and i should never forget that enemy already knows my name and they are having a lot of fun uh, whenever they are just destroying my legions right so that's why i'm already not even surprised I I am already getting used to it so I guess no problems if you guys like to defeat me then no problems I, I will have enough time I will have enough merits and I will have enough e elixirs all the time for me to heal my troops so no problems it's totally fine i understand that i'm not going to get a lot of merits whenever i'm fighting against tier 5 players but at least i will try to be there at least i will try my best to be as active as possible because i think that's the most important well this is the merits which you can get against fighting versus tier 5 players which which is not a high number but we should not never forget that i'm a free to play player who is trying to be uh, as impactful as possible and whenever you are fighting against tier 5 players you shouldn't be really expecting yellow merits in your merit score because that's generally almost impossible if you don't have high activity in your alliance right you have you kind of have to have a lot of members online in order for you to be uh, successful against tier 5 players and in our case i think uh, for us it's uh, already night time and no, it's not the perfect moment for our alliance to fight but still simply because i have a lot of elixir saved, saved up and i will have a lot of time in the future uh, to heal my troops i think it will be not a bad idea for me to just try to be uh, as active as possible i will send my legions back home because enemy actually tried to uh, focus on me again but um, that's totally fine because finally i can see my strong alliance members uh, nearby which will be going to tank our troops uh, enemy troops and we will have enough free time to hit the enemy like front line which is this uh, goresh and skogul who just tried to attack us he actually thought that only tier 4 players were online 
but that's fine finally we have some tank finally we can actually move up and deal some damage let's see i hope this time this fight will be the perfect fight for us uh, to get yellow merits uh, because whenever i'm fighting i'm trying my best as always to have as much yellow merits as possible and i will be using this moment whenever we got some tank nearby to just try to be as useful as possible i'm not sure how enemy actually tries to attack me still because as I have said before I guess they already know my name and I guess they already trying to focus me all the time which is not a great thing to have I always prefer to not to get targeted and my tanks to get target from enemies but uh, that's the life of the guy who is making some videos uh, in YouTube about Call of Dragons, right? Everybody wants to make this guy mad, but that's fine. It's a part of the game. Sometimes you will get focused, sometimes you won't, but at least you are trying your best and at least you are trying your absolutely best to be as impactful as possible, right? Right now I'm trying to focus mainly on the ranged ones because whenever you are playing as an archer i think your main focus should be uh like clicking on archer legions or mage legions like generally mages are most preferable because they have lowest amount of uh, physical defense and whenever you are playing with archer you are dealing physical defense right that's why if you are just like me archer main try to be focusing on mages because that's the highest amount of damage you are going to deal to them right Finally, I'm using my Shadow Blades, finally I'm using my Artifacts, which means enemy is nearby and we have enough range to uh, click on them, and we, we, which means we have enough time to deal some damage. Finally, we can actually even click on the backline, I'm, I'm not going to move away, uh, because they will actually even catch me if I will try to move away, and right now I will just stand still like a Legolas and try to deal uh, damage to them. Let's see how much merits we are going to get from this fight, which which I think should be at least more than which I was getting, if not at least the same, right? Let's see the third um, report for the for this fight and yeah like 10,000 merits which should be like at least minimum whenever you are fighting against tier 5 players that's what you should be expecting right this guy actually dealt like 51k damage with the infernal flame to me uh, so come on like what are we are we are even expecting from these fights right in terms of merits 51k uh, i'm not sure what kind of skill or what kind of artifact i should use in order for me to deal 51k damage but it is what it is right i at least i tried my best and right now i have already 1 million severely wounded troops already by just fighting for like maybe 10 or 15 minutes yeah the like main idea about this video is to understand how much damage you are getting whenever you are getting targeted by the tier 5 player uh, main idea is also about how it is important to move with your tier 5 players to move and fight with your alliance members because without your alliance members you always will be no one right this game is not a single player game this game is all about team players it's all about team playing so i always suggest play with your alliance try to make friends in your alliance and try to play together because call of dragons is most whenever it's played together i hope you guys like this video if you did press like subscribe share it always gives me more and more motivation to make content for this amazing game I hope everybody will have amazing day, morning or night. We are going to see each other very very soon. Bye bye and good luck.